Whatever happened to predictability? The milkman, the paper boy, evening TV. Did I get delivered here? Somebody tell me, please. This old world confusing me. Yes, it is me, Jake Cons, coming to you live from inside my house. This week has been a very eventful one for IHS because we are doing class officer applications. Applications are due Friday before 11.59 p.m., so do not wait and get those in. You must include a one-minute video speech to show to the everyone in your class. In this week's episode of Daily Dose, we have a piece on a student helping frontline workers. We have a segment on what our students have been up to lately and we have a tribute to the class of 2020. RHS will continue to honor their seniors during the month of June. On June 17th, there will be an award pickup day, and on June 24th, there will be a small group graduation where RHS seniors will have the opportunity to walk across the stage that all RHS grads have walked upon before. Honoring the class of 20 is a major part in our community, but also honoring healthcare workers and frontline workers is an even bigger part. Junior Finn Gomez has been doing his part in this. Hola. Um, so, the first time I did a porch concert was on April 2nd, and a couple days before that, my neighbor, had, you know, he's always been across from me, lets me practice and play, and I usually go out on the front porch and just, you know, mess around, play some songs, practice, and I try not to do anything like, you know, routine, because people get bored of that, so I play songs. Well, he jokingly said I should play some stick songs, or some of the older, you know, classics, and I jokingly said back, I should get a tip jar. Well... Believe it or not, I go out for a walk and come home a couple hours later and there's a whole polished wooden box on my front porch with a note and a giant banner that I can customize. Um, his name is Greg, he's an awesome guy. They put me, this would not have happened without him, so I just want to give him a shout out. But anyways, on April 2nd we decided to let's just try something. So I started posting on Facebook trying to get people to come and, and donate any way they could. Um, and we did, overall I've done four concerts so far, I'm hoping to do a fifth and final one, uh, to raise money for local truck drivers and, uh, hearing, hard of hearing kids in the area, uh, kind of my own personal way to give back. But we did, we've done five concerts so far, we raised over $2,000. So far we've taken, I'm sorry, uh, we've given meals to Down River for Veterans, uh, three times, me and my mom and dad, we've cooked uh, home meals, donated all of those. So paying for that with all the proceeds. We took uh, pizzas, hot pizzas, to a bunch of different businesses that support Down River Veterans. Uh, we've donated flags, I've donated puzzles, books to Down River Veterans to help support their veterans and elderly people who need things during these times. We've donated food, I mean, it's, it's been incredible what they've been able to do. Uh, Down River Veterans, I've taken food, and, uh, hot steak, chicken dinners to the Wynette Police Department, Fire Department, I think it's just anything I could do to give back right now, I think it's really fun. So uh, thanks to everyone that's supported me so far. Fantastic work, Finn. Keep it up. We just entered week six of online learning. Time goes by when you're having fun. Teachers are working hard, so make sure you're working even harder. Mrs. Styles has been putting her students to work with virtual online art challenges. Um, I've done three art challenges so far this semester. Um, the first one was a Getty challenge, and then we did isolation chairs and then Free Art Friday. The one that had the best turnout was definitely the isolation chairs. Got a lot of those. Uh, the Getty Challenge came originally from Amsterdam, from the museum there. It was picked up by the Getty Museum in California. And the idea was, is that you um, look for a famous work of art and try to recreate it at home. It could be a sculpture, it could be a painting, but you're trying to recreate it at home with whatever supplies you have available in your environment. 
and then you would take a photo of your creation alongside a screenshot of the original artwork and then put those up either on Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag Getty Challenge. And then we did isolation chairs. The isolation chairs, um, again, were the most popular. That was started by um, a Spanish designer who was quarantined at home and he was trying to, he wanted to build a chair, didn't have any materials, um, and then realized that he could just use, start with cereal boxes just in his kitchen. And he said, there's a lot of things you can put together to make a chair shape. And the idea that we're also just all isolated right now, it sort of all came together with the idea of the isolation chair. So. Make a chair out of whatever you have in your environment. So Free Art Friday um, came from an artist who goes by the name My Dog Size. You can find him on Instagram also. Um, and he didn't invent it, but he kind of brought it all together. The idea is on Fridays, artists will take artwork and just leave it out in public spaces. Um, you know, put it up in a tree, put it on a park bench, put a little tag on it, says that it's free. Um, a lot of people promote themselves that way. Um, I told my students not to put their names on it since they're all underage. But the idea is um, put it out for someone to take home and um, do that on Friday. So it's hashtag free art Friday. Um, I decided to do the assignments this way just because um, I thought this would be a way I was hearing from a lot of students like they were very you know isolated at home, weren't connecting with people. So I thought this would be a good way to at least virtually connect with a group through you know the hashtag Getty Challenge, hashtag Isolation Chairs, or hashtag Free Art Friday. You sort of become part of a virtual community and still you know make artwork, be creative. Um, you're challenged by that. You can still get your extra credit um, for art class if you need it. And um, just mostly to, to still kind of have a way of being part of a community and bringing people together. That looks like fun. I've been keeping busy by going to the beach and chilling in my pool. On another note, NPR recently released an article talking about safe summer activities for you to do. Things like camping, bike riding, and outdoor family events will keep you safe. But things like going to a club or going to a restaurant are relatively high risk for catching COVID. So do your part and create a new normal during this summer. Speaking of new normal, I think we all can agree that our new normal is going on TikTok on the daily. So. Here's our Daily Dose TikTok of the Week. Many of you are curious about our yearbook distribution. Due to COVID-19, printing plants have slowed down the process of printing books. We are hoping our books will be shipped very soon so that we can get them to seniors on the 17th and underclassmen the following days. The seniors will get a free edition of the senior issue of the Y News. Make sure you show up on June 17th to get your copy. My name is Jay Collins and I'm signing off for the last time of this school year. See you guys later. But we're going to leave you with Dominic Stanley and his mom who made a tribute to the class of 2020.
Awesome. Just holler if you want. <laughs>